Hey. <laughs> Sounds like a oh, milkshakes. Khalees, love it. Go oh, boys to the ride. Damn right, it's better than yours. Damn right, it's better than yours. And I can teach you, but I have to charge. I know, I know songs. I know things. You are so white. Am I? Yeah. I gotta stop doing that. I think I'm just trying to be friendly. I, I, I guess that's me trying to be friendly. No, no, I said no. I said your teeth are white. Oh, my teeth are. <laughs> Thank you. No, I thought you were. I thought you were saying that I was acting white. Um. Wow. I read that completely wrong. <laughs> okay. But anyway, in all seriousness. Hi, my name is Vixen J. I'm a YouTuber. Um, and I will type in my channel for you to check out. Um, I'm doing this YouTube series where I give people online advice. And um, yeah, I want to help people because I think it's the right thing to do. Sounds right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, also not touching myself. So, you know, <laughs> I'm already I'm already a catch. Um, <laughs> no, I was just saying I'm not touching myself, so oh, yeah. Yeah. right, right, right. yeah, yeah. Hello. trying to make Hello. everybody comfortable. So, if you ladies need any advice about anything, ask me a question, going through some shit, uh, let me let me help you out. Okay, why are boys so stupid? Ooh, you know what's funny? I just had someone ask me about how why boys don't communicate, so this is kind of a similar question. Um, boys are stupid because. Um, you know, I think it comes down to them not really being able to understand and appreciate the opposite sex. You know what I mean? Um, right. Boys are just caught up in their own minds about whatever, and their attention spans only go so far. Obviously, not all boys, but most boys, right? Their attention spans right. only with what's in front of them. They don't really pay attention to anything else. When it comes to girls, they only have a one-track mind in some cases. And they forget that you're also people. You know what right. I mean? Right. That sounds about accurate, right? right? Some boys forget that you're actually people too. With feelings and thoughts and movements and arms and legs. Um, <laughs> so yeah, when it comes to boys being stupid, that's pretty much why they are. Um, you know, they sometimes they're critical thinking skills. Not all there. Um, and as I was explaining to the other girls... Um, some guys are lazy, you know, uh, I right. think they're just lazy in that they don't really want to put in a lot of effort to either think more or, or be critical because some of them are just afraid of the backlash of either being smart or being expressive or, uh, well, expressing their feelings, you know what I mean? Right. Um, right. Yeah. They're, they're, they're kind of afraid of that backlash of what happens if they do that. They're either seen as weak or that I was seen as stupid, or that I was seen as like, oh, well, you're such a girl. It was just so dumb. It's so dumb. Can we stop that? Like, can we stop calling, like, can we stop trying to say like, oh, like, guys are girls because they express themselves? Like, anyone should be able to express themselves, no matter what who they are, right? It's not just a girl thing. It should be an everyone thing. That's like 1920s logic right there. Yeah, it's very like old English, like back in the, I don't know, horse and carriage buggy days. It's so dumb. But yeah, yeah. I think I think that's generally why boys are stupid. Um, but these days why they're stupid, I have no idea. I, I can't tell you. Blame the technology. Blame internet. Blame, I don't know, something. Um, blame the water, maybe? Huh? <laughs> Why are guys so scared of commitment? Ooh, ho, 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 that is a heavy one. But I will tell you why. Right now. So um, the reason why guys are afraid of commitment, really, I think it comes down to, one, not prepared. And that's not necessarily an excuse. Some guys are literally not prepared to commit um, because it's more than just like, all right, it's just me forever because I said yes. It's really just the act of like actively commitment equates to work, right? And I think some guys don't know or don't understand the amount of work it takes to commit, right? They just think like, all right, I'm going to be your boyfriend. Cool. Got the title of boyfriend. I win. No, that's not how relationships work, right? Uh, with that right. level of commitment, there has to be more than just getting a title. It's like 
You have to be attentive. You have to, um, you know, pay attention. You have to, you know, really care for the person. You have to like do things for them. There has to be communication. There has to be all these things that come with commitment. And some guys are not prepared to do that because they've either never been taught or there's never been a scenario where they had to do these things. So sometimes it takes a lot of time for men to commit because either they don't know how to do it or they know what it entails to commit. And they're just like, oh, no, not for me. No, thanks. Whatever we have, really simple, right? Some guys can be really lazy. So when it comes to commitment, it's like, all right, well, commitment is like work. Well, I'm not trying to work. I'm just like, whatever. Just like come here and give it to me. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, and obviously that's not what commitment is, right? So I think that's why guys are afraid of commitment. And then also just the concept of like, oh, crap, I'm locked down. Like guys don't like being restrained, right? They don't like feeling constricted or restrained or feeling like, oh my gosh, if I commit, it's over. Like, throw away the key. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And that's, and that's unfortunately, um, a thought process that a lot of guys have when it, when they hear the word commitment. It's like, all right, I got to be with this one person all the time, always. There's no room for anything else. That's it. Like, once I commit to this person, as I said, throw away the key. Like, I might as well just be in prison, right? And that's not what commitment is, right? Right. Commitment literally is just the um, proclamation of like, hey, I promise it's just like a really big promise. I guess that's the way you have to bring it down to some dumb boys, right? It's like, all right, commitment's not like a death sentence. It's like a really big promise. Like, you know how guys would promise any, like, all right, I promise, babe, I'll take you to the movies. Just pr- kind of frame it like that. It's like, hey, it's like you're really making a big promise that you'll take me out to dinner all the time. You know, right. as a, it sounds elementary and it sounds dumb, but I guess for some guys, that's probably how they should think of it as just making a really big promise to someone else that says, Hey, I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to be, you know, make sure that you're number one and and vice versa. Obviously they have to feel like that commitment is reciprocated because I feel like a lot of guys may feel like, all right, I'm committing. That means like, I have to do everything. I have to be the one like doing all the work. And that's not how relationships work. Right. It has to be mutual. It has to be a mutual benefit for each person involved. So I think once men kind of retrain their brains to what commitment is, especially if you both define what commitment means to both of you involved, then it's less, oh my gosh, I'm walking death row. And more like, okay, yeah, this makes sense. Let's do this. So communication once again. But yeah, some guys really do have to rethink what commitment means. Yeah, Yeah, that's why they're afraid. Because they, they, they get this preconceived notion of what commitment is. And then they're like, oh, whoa, I don't like that. I don't want that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's way too much. But it's like, it's not that hard. You just have to be, you just have to be ready for it. You have to be ready for it. That, that no matter of, no matter how much you may understand what commitment is, you have to be ready for it. If they're not ready, they're just not ready. And women, you got to know when a guy's not ready for commitment. That's not even a matter of fear. That's just like. They are not prepared mentally, like emotionally, anything like that for commitment. And you you have to see those red flags and realize like, hey, he might be saying yes with his mouth, but he's not saying yes up here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's important too. That was a really good explanation. Thanks. That was a twofer. Yeah, there you go.